Number 40. Become grateful. Life isn't exactly the way you want it to be. You will have your ups and downs and crosses to bear. You will have opportunities to practice holding your tongue and exercising patience. Yet, because you are focused on the larger picture, you will be able to keep everyday events in perspective. Be grateful for all you have. Acknowledge and accept compliments. In the larger scheme of things, you may wish to be grateful for good health, a supportive spouse, a rewarding profession, obedient, healthy children, conscientious employees, prosperity, religious faith, loyal friends, and even winning sports teams. You add and choose. Why not write letters to people in your life who have made a difference and thank them? You will both feel better. When you can look forward and be thankful, you can help others do the same. Hold the burning candle from which others can light their candles. Embrace gratitude. Number 41. Show loyalty. Be a stand-up person. You stand for your family, country, and friends. When and if trouble comes, let others have no doubt that they can count on your help and support. Your commitments don't waver with the moods of the moment. You don't hesitate to act. At work, you build customer loyalty by concentrating on service with an attitude clear to everyone that customer retention is very important to you. You don't run a business solely dependent on finding new customers. You are consistent, devoted, faithful, and true. You stand for your beliefs and values. You aren't afraid to pledge allegiance to what is right. This is loyalty. Number 42. Practice Forgiveness. Anger, hatred, bitterness, resentments, and thoughts of revenge are heavy weights that slow a person down. Allowed to fester, these negative feelings can consume increasingly larger portions of your life. Liberate yourself. Let it go. The forgiving person is always stronger. Be like the rock in the stream and let thoughts of revenge flow by you. As a person of action, improving yourself and helping others, you will make lots of mistakes. You will do foolish things. Learn the lesson. You practice forgiveness for yourself. Consider those who you may have offended or injured and ask for their forgiveness. Can you say, I'm sorry and I apologize if I offended you. If you ask and your request is rejected, you have lightened your burden in trying. Continue to encourage efforts at reconciliation. Number 43. Demonstrate your love. From the Bible, we learn that love is patient and kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-serving. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. It is responsibility and a willingness to work out problems. Love is too wonderful and too powerful to be kept bottled up. 
Let it out with your smiles, your voice, your manner, your enthusiasm, and your continuing acts of kindness. For love, you can risk being vulnerable. When you find love, cherish and safeguard it. A loving marriage and family is worth all your efforts. Number 44. Be prudent. Just because you deserve victory doesn't mean that you will win every fight, game, or argument. Someone else may have the tactical advantage. Have the self-confidence to know when not to fight. Perhaps the smartest course of action is to retreat and reflect upon your options. Can you return to challenge on another day, better equipped, more experienced, and stronger? The non-action of the wise man is not inaction. It is not shaken by anything. The heart of the wise man is tranquil. It is the mirror of heaven and earth. Emptiness, stillness, and tranquility. Wise men don't fight each other. Number 45. Develop your special talent. You were born with a special talent. It may be to sing, write, teach, paint, mentor, preach, defend, or befriend. You have something special to offer the world, something that you can do better than 10,000 others. You must keep learning and trying new things to find your special talent. The world needs your gift. Be aware that even a special talent can go stale if you don't keep using and honing it. Endeavor to keep your talents and all your skills up to date. An advantage isn't an advantage unless you use it. Find ways to use your advantages to set and reach your goals. Likewise, you should recognize and then try to minimize the impact of your limitations. Remember that not all advantages are transferable. Just because you're talented in one area doesn't mean that you will be talented at everything you try. The successful real estate investor can easily lose her money opening a restaurant. Stick to your advantages and don't stray away from them without reasoned justification. Number 46. Be persistent. Modern life can make you soft. The status quo may become comfortably familiar. You can actually begin to believe that you're doing all that you can do, or that doing more isn't worth the effort. Challenge yourself. You must start the positive momentum in your life, and then you've got to stick with it day to day. You don't need someone to tell you not to smoke. If today you smoke a pack, tomorrow smoke 18, the next day 17. Improve. If you haven't read a book recently, read one. If you don't exercise, take a walk around the block. If you're shy, say to five new people, good morning. You know yourself. You know what improvements you need. You don't need somebody to tell you not to jump from a 50-story building. So why would you need someone to tell you not to take drugs, to exercise more, eat a sensible diet, talk to your kids, or compliment your employees? You know what to do. Keep going. No one can say that you failed until you do. Keep taking small steps toward your goal. 
challenge the you who is content with yesterday's accomplishments. Take a deep breath. Changes that last a lifetime begin in a moment. With persistence, only time stands between you and your goal. Number 47. Develop Winning Habits If becoming a success were easy, everyone would do it. It isn't. They don't. As a follower of the action principles, you can. You can develop winning habits while identifying and working to eliminate your bad habits. Be patient. Psychological studies have shown that it takes about 30 days to begin to form or begin to rid yourself of a habit. You can keep your word even though this may not always be easy to do. You can write and focus on your goals and objectives and your to-do list. You can exercise when you're tired. You can read business materials. You can volunteer. You can give a little extra money to charity. You can give a little extra time to family members, students, and customers. You can pick up litter on the jogging path. You can delay gratification. You can do a lot while others are idle. You won't always want to do these things. You will feel that you are doing more than your share. You are right. Work on your habits. You are tough. Number 48. Do what others can't. Most people can't give two nights a month to volunteer at a hospice. You can. Most people can't get up at 6 a.m. and jog two miles. You can. Most people can't give up their lunch hour to solve a customer's problem. You can. Most people can't help to clean up other people's messes. You can. Most people can't help a friend deal with destructive behavior. You can. Most people can't give 5% of their money to charity. You can. You are following the action principles. Number 49. Accept hard work. Great accomplishments come from hard work. Luck accompanies hard work. If necessary, be prepared to endure temporary hardship. At times, the work is going to be hard to do and you would prefer doing something easier. Accept this. Put enthusiasm into your work and you will reduce boredom. Commit yourself to hard work and be thankful that you aren't lazy. Laziness makes all work difficult. From day one, you accept the premise that by following the action principles, you will work hard and give much. Don't cheat or look for the easy way out. Bask in the feeling of exhilaration and accomplishment that few will experience. If you work hard, You will never go hungry. In the end, you will discover that all the hard work was worth it. Work hard and don't wish that your life were any other way. Get accustomed to doing what others can't or won't.